this is the next installment in the Dell Venue 8 Pro um, stylus and touch panel update. Dell has released a new touch panel update. Now I downloaded this yesterday, so that was the 30th of January, um, just off the Dell site. Um, now you can see they've actually marked a um, panel touch firmware update and its release date is actually the 1st of Feb but I downloaded that yesterday, so 30th of Jan. Um, now this is going to be a bit like an unboxing because I haven't actually installed it. So I will do that now and we'll see whether it makes any difference. Now I found the last touch panel update was pretty good um, and fixed a lot of the previous issues that I'd had. So we'll see how this one goes. It's uh, A02 version 1.0.4.2. Okay, utility updates the touch controller on the system, it takes a couple of minutes, so let's do it. Ah, that's, okay, interesting, latest firmware is already installed on a touch controller. So that's interesting. Now that's definitely a different firmware for the touch panel than I had before. Um, with a release date, as you can see, of February. So I don't know what's actually going on there. Um, let's have a look at the previous versions. So we've got 17th of the 12th. Well, 20th or 11th it has on that older one. And that's A00. So, yeah, I don't know what exactly is going on there. Interestingly, um, I did the Windows update and I've had a lot of issues with the battery. Um, as you'll see, there's, uh, there's some updates listed and these were updates which the forums are talking about not actually installing. I waited until um, we'd actually, until it had released about four new updates, and I did them all at once, I did about eight. So if we go to the update history here, um, I actually, I did it on the 27th of Jan, and had significant battery issues, um, and so I actually uninstalled them, and I went all the way back, um, so the last update there, KB290440, um, which was installed on the 26th, I didn't seem to have any issues with that one but I I went back and got rid of them all and I'll show you why um, I did a, a battery report on the 28th and um, you can see on this that um, connected standby suddenly started using I mean it went in and out quite a bit but you can see that it suddenly started using a lot of battery on connected standby so I went from using a couple of percent to you know an, an 18 hour connected standby use 26 percent of the battery um, back up here six hours eight percent but here you can see we had a connected standby 10 hours 66 percent it used 11,000 milliwatts so that's ridiculous um, and you can see here we had a pretty radical drop. I was getting connected standby at full charge. Um, now what this graph here shows is battery life estimates. And it says at full charge with the connected standby, because I'm a bit down on the, um, the battery hasn't quite calibrated yet. I don't think I'm about 95% of the design capacity. Connected standby, we're talking 148 hours. So, you know, 11% drain over 16 hours, 8% 16 hours, pretty consistent there. Um, after the update, 56% over 16 hours. So it jumped from a minimum up here of 8%, some 11s and 12s, to 56. So it, it literally went on the 26th from 175 hours to 28 hours. Um, and then on the 28th, it, it had 17%. So still quite a significant jump. So that's all over the shop. Um, I've uninstalled them and I'm going to test the device uh, over the next couple of days and see whether the uninstallation actually helped.